weep holes have to be drilled into every cell of every block and every mortar joint. As I drill each cell, the water comes out. But the water also comes out of mortar joints where the two blocks come together. The holes are not to the bottom of the block because the bottom of the block can be solid. When you're drilling, you might hit a solid area. You have to stop drilling and raise the drill until the water does come out. We got water that comes out of this wall. If the weep holes were done properly, there would be no water in this wall. That's not cinder block anymore. It isn't. But your blocks are rotted. This is supposed to be cinder block. This is cinder, which once upon a time was a cinder block. The weep holes just were not put in properly, and you had continuous rot, and this is what happens when water sits at the bottom of blocks for too long. The bottom block does rot out. Tell people that concrete or cinder block comes apart below grade. That's above grade. And this is below grade. Smush. No weep hole on the mortar joint. They missed this one. They missed this one. No weep hole in this mortar joint. They did not drill out every cell of every block, nor did they drill out the mortar, mortar joints have not been drilled out. No weep holes where I just took the system apart. When you're talking about a pressure relief system, every weep hole has to be drilled, especially when you've got a wall that's moving. No weep hole in the mortar joint. Nothing here. Nothing here. They got weep holes in here. Oops. They missed the mortar joints. Right here is the mortar joint. Water can accumulate in there. And then one of these holes is above it. So if you don't drill this out, that water can build all the way up. We getting on the same page yet? It's all about doing the job the way the job needs to be done. And that's why I do these videos.